everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm really sorry if you can hear someone cutting the grass outside, it's because someone is, to be honest. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my top five drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I really think are just good quality and I reach for them a lot. But before we go on to the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to Withering Heights. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and comment below when you have done so. Okay, so should we just jump straight onto it? So the first one that I really want to mention, and it's like my newest one, but I actually really love this eyeshadow palette. It's the Tammy Times Revolution um, eyeshadow palette by Makeup Revolution. Tammy is a YouTuber and she collaborated with Makeup Revolution and created this stunning, stunning palette oh my god like you can actually see the colors here like they're so vibrant so exotic and i did do a video which i will link in the info box um if you guys want to check it out yeah, i really love this palette because first of all it's 10 pounds first of all and then second of all i can use every single shade in here and they're so pigmented so beautiful and you can just play around and create so many nice looks with these palettes with this palette i just love these they're just so beautiful and I feel like my favourite one is this like a matte purple, which is right there. And the colours show up so vibrant on my skin, like I just love this palette so much. So yeah, love it. I'm just going to go through this one because it's another one that I've used a lot and you can tell that I've used a lot. And it's affordable and it's from the same brand. So it's the Makeup Revolution reloaded iconic division eyeshadow palette you probably have seen me talk about this so many times if you really watch my videos it's kind of like a dupe for the anastasia um, modern renaissance no it's not subculture the subculture palette and the reason why i love this palette is just like these or yellowy peachy greeny shades and it's just such a nice palette like sometimes these shadows blend better than the actual subculture palette the colors aren't as pigmented as the subculture one but I feel like that's what makes it a bit more blendable because I feel like when you have too much pigment it just can't blend really nicely. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I have used this to death. This shade is um, a bit funny, like you really have to dig your finger in it but like this is my favourite shade and the peachy shade, it, it, it's just such a nice palette. And again, it's super affordable and you just can't go wrong with this. My cat is scratching the door. Lovely. Alright, so the next one is one from NYX. It's the Lid Lingerie Palette. It's just a simple palette. Um, again, affordable. And I find that when I go out, like, just for quick errands or if I'm just going to a cinema or something quick, I just go for this palette. Like, I just put, like, the browns in my outer corner and I just go for the lilac or the pinky or the banana shade in the inner corner and I smoke my lash line with the brown. It's just one that I really like and I would definitely recommend to anyone if you just want like simple eyeshadow. The eyeshadows are actually very pigmented as well so yeah definitely like this. The next one is by LA Girl and I was very surprised by this eyeshadow. Again it's a nice one if you want something affordable for every day. If you want something like if you're going to an office, if you've got like an office kind of job or you just want something natural like for every day. This eyeshadow is really nice. These blend really nicely and they're just nice and pigmented. Like look, look at that. They feel really nice. I just love how like velvety and soft the colours are and they just blend so nice. I did do a video when I did a full face of LA Girl products and this created a nice eyeshadow look. So yeah, I really really like this one. The next one is the Morphe 35B palette, 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 palette. You just can't go wrong with this palette like if you like to play if you like to play with color or if you go to a lot of like weddings indian weddings especially um and you just want to experiment if you're a blogger or anything like that this palette is just so so nice like honestly the eyeshadows are so pigmented i put a bit of the yellow like in the, the corner here um but they're just so intense like honestly they are and for the price it's just so surprising it's just such a good palette i really 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 like it and i definitely recommend it to anyone i think it's like around 20 pounds but you get so many colors in here like it, it makes a drugstore do you know what i mean and morphe is known to be just a drugstore anyways i just love this palette i just can't rave enough about it i love it and it just inspires me to play around with makeup and just do like more new looks do you know what i mean 
so yeah that's everything I feel, I feel like this video is super quick but i haven't done one in ages and it was one of my first videos i ever did and a lot of you liked that video and they've obviously changed throughout time like i mentioned in that video so yeah and some of them some of you wanted to see this video anyway so I'm really glad I did it. Right, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if you if there's any like other top five videos you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, I never really know how to finish off my videos. It's so weird. But yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.